talk to me. I open the page, they talk to me. Come on now, brew walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. He always shot up at the cross on me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on the cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross. Yeah, yeah. I open the page, they talk to me. Come on now, brew walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. He always shot up at the cross on me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross. What's going on, y'all? Y'all got a question? You got a question? Just hearing it out? Okay, okay. Let me know if you have a question. What's your, uh, what's your ethnicity? Mexican. Mexican? Like mother and father? Mexican? My mother's father was born here. Okay. No, say not, not born in Mexico, but they're of that Mexican ethnicity. Oh, yeah. Okay, all praises. All praises. Have you ever, do you believe in the Bible? I did for a bit. You did for a bit? Okay. Uh, was it something in the church that deterred you from it? Or, like, what, what, what? Deterred you from the Bible. Hey, that, that's all of us, brother. That's all of us. The church will have you go up in there, you know, hooting, hollering, collect, uh, pass the collection plate around. But how often do they actually read the Bible? You see what I'm saying? But what if I told you that the so-called Mexican man, woman, and child are God's chosen people? Have you ever heard that before? You've not heard that before. Come check this sign off for me real quick. See if you see the so-called Mexican man on this child. Uh, on, his, on, on his chart right here. He said the what? The so-called Mexican man, woman, and child. Do you, do you see your nation of people on this chart? Oh, man, I wouldn't be able to tell unless I asked them. You know what I mean? What about right here? Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So the so-called Mexican man, woman, and child would be of the tribe of Issachar. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so y'all come from a, a holy, rightful lineage, right? Mm -hmm. give, me that in, uh, give me that in Genesis. Uh, 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 the the the, uh, the blessing of Issachar. Let me show you something real quick, brother. You got it? Watch this. This is Genesis 49 and verse 14. Uh -huh. Issachar is a strong ass. So this is a characteristic to describe the Issacharites of the so-called Mexican man, woman, and child. Read that again. Issachar is a strong ass. So do you know you know what an ass is? A donkey, right? But also called what? A burro, which is what? A hard-working animal, right? It, work, it tills the field. It, it, no one can really outwork it. Who can outwork the so-called Mexican man? Nobody. I tried it. I failed. I passed out. It wasn't happening. I tried my best, but nobody can outwork y'all, man. Y'all the most hardworking people that could ever exist. The term, the word Issachar means he is for hire. In America, they have this thing where they try to say, uh, I know it was real big uh, a few years ago. The Mexican, the Mexicans are taking all the job. That's your life. He is for hire. Y'all y'all the most hardworking people, man. Read on. Couching down between two burdens. Now, Mexico is between what? North America and South America, right? America, which this land is supposed to be a part of Mexico. But the people that try, but the Mexicans or the other indigenous that try to come back up here, they're being told they can't come, putting board, border patrol, getting them and things like that, right? You're being told you can't come into a land that belongs to you. And then you have what? The cartels going, running around in South America. So our people are couched down between two burdens. Read on. Verse 15, and he saw that rest was good uh -huh. and the land that it was pleasant. So you know what a siesta is, right? You said a fiesta? Siesta. A siesta. 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 12 o'clock, take a nap. Take a rest. You saw that rest was good and that the land was good as well. When people go on vacation, they want to go to a beach, right? What's one of the first places they go? What's the first place they go? That's the close. Miami. That's another part, but guess what? What about Cancun? Cancun, yeah. What about, oh, let's go to, let's go to LA, which is, what, you see what I'm saying? Which is what? A part of Mexico. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Or they go to what we know is Mexico, and they still go down for their resorts and their vacation. Y'all saw that the land was good, read. And bowed his shoulder to bear, uh -huh. and became a servant unto tribute. You ever, you ever seen any uh, anyone at like Home Depot or like day laborers? Standing outside, someone comes, picks them up, pays them for a day's work, right? That's a servant of the tribute. Those are day laborers. Is that, is that not something that is descriptive of the so-called Mexican man, woman, and child? Hey, talk to voice, it is, right? You know, uh, are you familiar with the Aztecs? Hey, hit that a little shit. Bit. A little bit, right? Hit that shit. What you mean, brother? We, we're here for edifying, not, not entertainment, brother. But, but, but essentially, uh, what you got? You got Khan. So, so the Aztecs, just like the Mayans, they're known for being proficient with time. It's just that they have the Mayan calendar where they had like the whole like in the world, that's what other cultures try to say. But that calendar was very precise in the ending of an age or an eon, right? Okay. Now watch this. 
book of First Chronicles, chapter one, I mean, like chapter twelve and verse thirty-two. No. Huh? And of the children of Issachar, uh -huh. which were men that had understanding of the times. Understanding of the times. Most High gave him that allotment to be able to look up into the heavens, see the stars, the sun, and the moon, and be able to discern when a blood moon was happening. When a famine was happening, a time of war, a time of peace, a time to make sacrifices and things of that nature. They're very proficient with that, just like the Mayans were. And, the, and uh, they were all, essentially they were all cohabitating in one area at one time. So of course they're going to learn from each other, they're brethren, right? Read. It's like, uh, to know uh -huh. what Israel ought to do. And, and, and they would decree unto Israel the different times so that way we can get prepared. And as well as the word Aztec means it's Hebrew for keeper of time. So why is it that we have a people called the Aztecs, which is a Hebrew word uh, which means keeper of time, and they're very proficient with that as described as the tribe of Issachar? Because that was y'all, man. The Aztecas, the Mayans, the Incas, those are all of our people uh, of Zebulon and Issachar and the other northern tribes, right? So that's your, that's us, man. We just, we are quite literally the same people. How you feel about hearing this information, man? Oh man, I'm intrigued. Like, You're I intrigued. Want, I want to hear more of it. All yeah. praises. Do you have do you now in the church? Do you have any specific questions that the church probably made you you know not ask again? In no, a way, man, it's just behind like people's back. You hear you hear them. Just, just, just the just the backbiting that they do in the church. Yeah, right. Okay, like, okay. Once the service is over, like I, you know, I've been they, back they, where the preachers. Exactly, it's the it's the hypocrisy in it, right? Yeah. That, exactly. Yeah. That's why we get away from the show. Give me give me Act Seven. You got a flyer, boss? Yeah, 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 we got a flyer for you, King. Seven and thirty-eight. Watch this. I'm gonna show you what the actual church is. Thirty-eight. Slot. This is uh, the book of Acts, chapter seven and verse thirty-eight. Start at verse thirty-seven. Slot. Verse thirty-seven. Uh huh. This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel, right? A prophet shall the Lord. Your God raise up unto you uh, of your brethren, right? Like unto me, him shall ye hear. That's quoting Deuteronomy uh, uh, 18 right there, talking about who the world calls Jesus Christ. So this is the con essentially the con. This is talking about the time of Moses, right? In the wilderness, read. Verse 38. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. Now in the wilderness, there was no actual physical building church, right? Right. So the church is talking about who? Who was there with Moses? The children of Israel which makes up the body, which is the church. Read on. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness uh -huh. with the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sinai uh -huh. and with our fathers uh -huh. who received the uh, lively oracles to give unto us. And see, and that was our people back then in the wilderness. You see what I'm saying? You got, you got, you got a, let's say you about to dip out or? Yeah, I'm about to dip out. Okay, all praise, but look at that information on there. You know, so if you have any questions, we're normally here uh, every Friday and Saturday. Saturdays between the hours of 4 and 8. If it's raining, we're at Neiman Marcus. Okay. All right, brother. Appreciate All appreciate praises, King. You have a good one, brother. All right. Questions in the crowd? Questions in the crowd. Shalom, brother. Reverend God. And with that, I want to say, call halal, abanawa yahawah, bahashim hamashak, malak yahawah shai, wa mawak la baba. No praise yahawah, bahashim yahawah shai. Kwame asharala. Shalom.